Hey guys, Scorpio here with another episode of Long Haul. So, uh, in this episode, we're scanning um, bars to see if we can find more trade missions. Um, they're really profitable, so we want to do as many as we can. Um, the goal of this episode is to tap into our custom production. Um, so this is something that we've been ignoring, but uh, there's some really good things in here, like Cyclone Reapers, um, perhaps some Fighter Wings. Uh, some ships that we might be interested in making and uh, I think we I think we need to um, Start investing more into our fleet like getting getting better weapons So that we can uh, take the fight to the pirates. Um, that's something I've been eyeing up um, Some of the ways to wrap up this series and I think one of the ways would be to uh, give Kant a visit before uh, we end this um, where? Is that a Raider Alamar? Uh, before we end this, let's play. No, we're not quite done. Um, there's still a lot to do, uh, as far as getting the colonies ready, but, uh, we are getting closer to the end. Um, yeah, sure, we'll buy some. Buy some marines now. How can I say no? It's right next to our colonies. It's pirates. It's 130k. We'll decline. Oh. Okay. All right, it's even closer to our colony. It's three ships. We have to take that. All right, and then let's get out of here. We're supposed to be looking for trade missions. Uh, I talked to our contact already. It was a bust. He didn't offer much. Oh, uh, let's swing by Myasora, actually. I had mentioned that in the last episode. Let's see if there's anything there that we need. Hmm. Let's see. Transfer. Uh, oh, well, guess we looted it. Um, I mean, as far as ships go, I don't think we need any of these. We'll grab the Revenant. Uh, that could be... Um, actually, we'll keep the Revenant here just in case we need to do some kind of, like, sneaking mission. Uh, we can always head to Myasora, drop off whatever ships we do have, and then grab the Revenant. Uh, rather than take it from our colonies where it's not really going to do much and we have to pay the cost to bring it back to the core worlds. So actually, I guess we're good here. And then it looked like we looted everything already. So let's just keep going. All right. So I am going to uh, pick up our first mission, and then I'm going to set some production orders. Now, it did look like you can set production orders that far exceed how many credits you have on hand. Um, yeah. It's just, it's like one of those things where you borrow against your colonies, and you'll just go into debt. But uh, there's not really like a punishment. This is not the right even not even the right system uh, there's no like punishment for that uh, we need one more there we go. so let's see what mission we get offered first and then that'll determine what we want to purchase
Okay. Looks like your missions have a reset. That's fine. Uh, so let's go over here into command and then let's look at custom production. So, uh, like I had mentioned before, you get your production capacity. So this is how much your um, your orbital works or your heavy industry can produce per month. So um, you get to choose where your um, ships get dropped off. So uh, you can set the gathering point. Not necessarily ships, but like weapons, fighters, anything that you build, you can choose what planet it spawns on. Um, by default, I think it just spawns on the first colony you ever settle. However, this is your entire list of colonies that you can, you know, you can set. So we're going to leave it on Osiris because that is our capital world. Uh, we're very likely to go there. Um, and then as far as like ship hulls that we might want, let's look at what capitals do we have on offer? We can make an atlas, which is really good. Uh, we could make some ventures. Oh, we can make griffins. Ah, okay. I didn't know that. Uh, we can make champions. Well, uh, before we do that, what, what weapons do we have on offer? So let's look at our energy weapons. Let's look at all sizes of energy weapons. Uh, we can make high intensity lasers. We can make auto pulse lasers. We can make ion pulsers. We can't make the good energy weapons. So I don't think it makes sense to make a champion. But what we will need are these like ion pulsers. Okay, so. Champion is out for the same reason Fury is out. Uh, we already have two griffins, so I think we're good there. Let's make a heron, just one. Let's look at destroyers. Um, we have the auto cannon, so sunders might actually make sense. We'll make a sunder. I think we already have one, so now we'll have two. And then as far as frigates go, uh, I really want wolves in the fleet. I think we'll make some wolves. Now you can go over your total order value, but what'll happen is um, you'll just produce up to your capacity. And then um, starting your next month, then it'll begin the additional orders. So we'll only get one wolf, we won't get two. Okay, cool. And next up, let's go into our weapons. So we're gonna need uh, one auto pulse laser. We're gonna need a ton of my, uh, ion pulsers, so we're actually just gonna make 10. Um, I think we have plenty of grav beams. We need ion cannons. All right, cool. So that's it for energy. Let's go over to ballistics. Uh, we need heavy machine guns. We need assault chain guns. Uh, rail guns would be nice. And I think that's it. I'm surprised you don't get like light dual machine guns. Uh, we're gonna need way more heavy machine guns than that. So let's actually just make 20 and then let's make 20 assault chain guns. And then finally missiles. So let's make just a ton of Savo SRMs. Uh, one of my favorite missiles in the game. A very, very, very powerful missile. For the same reason we're gonna make Savo pods. Uh, we're gonna make. Uh, we don't need that many. We're just gonna make four Cyclone Reapers, and then we'll make three Squalls, I believe, because we already have a Squall. And then, um, what else? We're pulling MRMs. It's like going grocery shopping when you're hungry. Uh, there's absolutely no reason to queue up this much. Um, this is how much it's going to cost us per month to produce this. This is this is not free. But I want it. Alright, we'll do that. And then... 
I don't remember if I like this missile. We'll make one and then when it when it gets here, we'll see if we like it. So let's go ahead and confirm these orders. Uh, and then any fighter rings. Order a couple daggers and then a claw. I don't think we need that much. So we'll go ahead and confirm these orders and it'll start working on them. Unless you click it, then it'll delete the ship that you wanted. There we go. Uh, so it'll start working on these orders and then um, in what? What's 187 times two? Uh, 375? Maybe. Um, so in two months, we should have all this produced for us. Alright, cool. So we have enough to at least pay for one month, but we need uh, 200k to pay for the next month. And then just double checking out. Officer, yeah, he didn't have anything. Our right, contact didn't have anything for us. Let's go drop that Griffin off, and then we'll come back. This will give time to uh, for our contacts over here in Samara to reset. And actually, we can go do that uh, bounty. Uh, let's let's not fly right into a uh, storm. I don't think there's ever a reason to, but if you fought your own colonies, you don't lose reputation with anybody, and you get, um, you get whatever your con, whatever you, whatever the convoy is, you get its supplies at the end of it, um, or I should rather say the the loot that it's not loot, <laughs> the items that it's carrying. Um, so I wonder if there's ever a reason to attack your own ships to gain that resource. I don't think so because I think what happens is if your colonies, if your convoy is destroyed, uh, you get that penalty. You get that disruption uh, penalty, but that's usually due to pirates. So I don't know if, if it would consider yourself a pirate or if it like distinguishes between those two. I'd have to experiment with that. Because if it doesn't, that, you know, infinite money glitch. Let's head over here to Cyrus. Drop off our ships, go do that bounty, and then that should give time to our um, contacts to reset them. So let's shrink down the fleet. I think it was three ships. So for three ships, we're just going to drop off everybody. Uh, we'll we'll build that up when we get a chance. And then we're just going to grab two eradicators. This is just in case we get attacked. Uh, having a, a couple more eradicators uh, might be helpful. Uh, let's drop off the crew. All right, and now we need to go where? Need to go down here. Located just as it's located in there, it doesn't say where. All right. Uh, 
Uh, we'll jump in the slipstream so we can gather some um, topography data. Oh, we definitely should have grabbed fuel. Yikes. I mean, we have what it takes to get back, but that's that's a little little scary. Turn off our transponder and let's see if we can't find that fleet. I was told. Uh, we can move into engage with this one. I was told to um, active sensor burst. It was either near gas giants or it was near stars. I guess it's near gas giants so that you... Oh, are you kidding me? We're fighting in the corona of the star. Crap. Oh, no, we're not. Okay. Um, if we were fighting the corona of the star, it would appear over here. Um, basically, if you fight there, uh, you have no CR. Uh, no peak performance time and your ship just gets destroyed um you take a lot of damage really bad for the path because they're they have safety overrides um and usually their officers don't have uh, good sustain The Shepard, the flagship? It had an officer in it. Alright, good job, everybody. Yeah, I was hoping to see the LP brawler. One. Yeah, I was told to do active sensor burst. I guess it was near um, gas giants, not near stars. Unless I have to be closer. Like in the corona. Right. Yeah, uh, I, mean, I don't know how much closer I'm supposed to get if, if that's supposed to work, but I think that was close enough. Um, let's... The question is, will flying forward... Yeah... That's high. Shoot. So we can fight our way back. Neutron star, that's terrible. I was wondering if like flying up this way and then back would save us fuel, because you don't use any fuel while you're in the slipstream. No, we'll just fly straight. Um, so that's what I was talking about, so um, that production report. So the first half was delivered, and now we're just waiting on the rest of the production order. And we're just going to fly carefully. Now what we can do here is we can use the storm to give us boosts, basically trading fuel, or trading supplies for fuel. No, you don't. But uh, we get back safely. See? It's easy. Was never worried. I 
I'm just gonna have random odds and ends all over the place. All right, let's go back to picking up our ships. Uh, the ones that are actually decorated. And we're going to just grab the safety overrides ones. No, uh, that's a lie. I'm gonna grab these ones too. And then let's put this one back. Yes, and now that we have the um, weapons that we need, we can actually refit these properly. And it looks like we ran out of uh, the Harpoon um, missiles. So. That's so much better. And then the next thing that we're going to do is upgrade these when we get a chance. So for this one, we can go ahead and upgrade it. Uh, we can ship it down. Two heavy maulers, one hyper velocity driver. Sabo, Sabo, Harpoon, 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 and then Vulcan Cannons all around, and then Light Dual Machine Guns. So I really, really like this Eradicator. Um, very comfortable to pilot yourself. Does great in the AI's hand. Very nice ship. Uh, we will go shield conversion front. Give it that better shield arc. Shield conversion front should definitely increase the amount of shield flux generated. If they're going to give you a better, if they're going to give you a larger shield arc. And then let's just go with, you know what? No, I was say we can get weird and we can do shield. We can do heavy armor shield shunt. I don't think that's a good idea. <laughs> let's, uh, let's not get that weird. Integrated targeting unit, shield conversion front, and then uh, we can go ballistic range finder and then integrated point defense AI. Crank up the vents, and then max the capacity. Yeah, let's drop ballistic range finder. We don't really need it that much. We're not using like rail guns or anything, even though those would be nice. I think something like this is nice and simple. Do we want rail guns? I don't think so. Oh, we'll just keep it simple. And then we'll just make this long range. Nice, good balance uh, ship. Uh, we want our sabos to fire in tandem, and then our harpoons can be on alternating. That's fine. And then we'll go ahead and name that long range. Cool. And then as we get heavy maulers and hyper velocity drivers, um, then we will slowly convert those ships over. Alright. Go ahead and put those away. That away. 
grab our supply, let's grab our crew. Grab a little bit of fuel. And let's head on out. Stop by Raw, pick up some uh, fuel and supply. Hello. Oh. Oh no. You have picked the wrong fleet to raid. Alright. Let's go ahead and send him to the Shadow Room. Those needlers. Uh, we definitely gotta set the missiles. We cannot have a, a station with those. We need to upgrade our stations. That's what we need to do. Each upgrade to a station is plus one stability. Go ahead, back off here. We're just a little too far forward. Let's hear I forgot to assign my officers. Let's put ourselves on autopilot. Uh, we'll just put a put together a handful of engage orders. And uh, let's keep an eye on um, our long range eradicator. Let's see how it does on the battlefield. The difference a few missiles makes. So very accurate, every single shot hitting, um, just able to do so much damage. Now imagine if we had five of these eradicators instead of this heavy mortar, heavy autocannon nonsense. This is a really solid ship. And um, with advanced auto turret, or with advanced turrets, no, turret gyros, whatever the whole mod is, um, this also becomes very good at fighting off a bunch of frigates. Alright. See, as opposed to this, where we just have shots flying everywhere. This poor eradicator. Cool. Good job, everybody. Uh, we'll let them go. Thank you. Then we'll follow up with another fight. Uh, I almost forgot our enforcers, which would have been very embarrassing. So I am glad that we fought that. Yeah, let's grab uh, enforcers. Uh, just a handful of them. Yeah, without enforcers, the fleet kind of falls apart because you can't deploy all your eradicators. And what ends up happening is um, your ships just end up getting surrounded and you lose the fight very quickly. What's funny is the more pirates that we fight, the more we look like a pirate fleet. 
really says a lot about society. All right. I'm going to go ahead and end the episode here. Um, we're going to do another round. I think at that point we should have um, enough credits that we can um, upgrade the rest of our uh, orbital stations. And then that should stabilize our fleets 100%. Like, once we upgrade all of them, I think the highest tier, though, is, like, a million credits each. So, it would be a while before we can get that. But once we get, like, eight stability across the board constantly, I'm pretty sure the pirates just stop attacking you. So, we'll see. Anyway, other than that, Grumpy out.